Hi, my name is Diane Southard, founder of Your DNA Guide. And today on DNA Defined, let's talk about confirmation bias. Now, confirmation bias isn't a unique term to genetic genealogy. We can see it in lots of areas in our life. But in terms of genetic genealogy, I want to bring it up in that I fear that sometimes when we know just a little bit about how to use DNA in our family history, and we start to begin to understand how to look at a DNA match and understand our relationships, we sometimes jump to conclusions based on our personal bias about who we think this person is or who they might be in our family tree. And instead of doing some better research, some due diligence research, we jump to conclusions. And we think that a certain DNA match confirms a relationship in our family tree when it really doesn't. So it's really important to dive deep enough into this family history and DNA information that you can be certain that the conclusions you're drawing about your family, especially in sensitive situations, are correct. So if you need some help with that, please visit us. Visit yourdnaguide.com. We've got lots of resources for you to continue learning. We also offer the opportunity to meet with one of our expert coaches one-on-one, -on -one, and that might be the best way to ensure that the conclusions you're drawing about your own family tree are legitimate and something that you should share and be spreading around your family. So we're here to help you. We want to make sure your DNA journey is successful and accurate. So thanks for joining us on DNA Defined. And as always, make sure you're subscribing so that you can get more tips like this in the future.